Okay, now we're recording. We <clears throat> welcome to uh, Surf Island. This is a very unique and um, unusual su survival game. Um, probably one of the hardest ones around, although we're going to be playing it in a slightly easier mode. As you can see, easy mode, we have the option of normal and hard. Um, <clears throat> the difference is, is in that easy, uh, all the recipes are there. In normal, you learn the recipes for the different things, and um, and then you can just use the blueprint menu sort of to make things. Uh, in hard, you don't get to remember them; they just you have to know what they are and do them manually each time. Uh, I've chosen my character. I've chosen summer because it's just a little bit easier to survive, and we don't really want to die in a tutorial immediately. So let's get stuck into it. Um, the options are spring, summer, autumn, winter. Winter is hard, autumn is hard, uh, harder, winter is hardest, autumn is next hard. Spring is okay, uh, summer is the easiest because you don't have cold nights and you can survive through the night before you've made a fire. But we are going to be hopefully making a fire first, but it all depends on the resources and where we are. So, in we go. takes a while procedurally generating the environment um, it doesn't look anything like this picture but that's beside the point maybe in the future it will uh, it's very alpha um, it's got a small dev team and they are developing stuff as we go and changing things quite often now I don't bother with the quest panel because I've done it many times but you can press L to open it um, and you can turn it off because uh, I don't really care about it I have done it many times so the reason we chose this particular seed is because there are three biomes this is the normal one over there I think is the swamp and over there uh, so there's tropical I can't remember what they all are but the swamp and uh, this one are the main ones and this looks actually like a really good place to build um, because everything is here that we could need there's all these rocks um, and there is water um, we probably went, want to get a little bit closer to the water over there in that direction because it's probably going to be fresh water and we can drink it and um, in the summer you get dehydrated pretty quickly so uh, the crafting system works like this you hit T um, and that creates a crafting area and on the left here you can see that there is um, <clears throat> a bunch of recipes now the advantage of this is that if I want to make something um, I can click on it and it tells me what I need on the right hand side there in normal mode you don't get that you only get a couple of basic ones which will probably be um, the stone blade and a chisel and a couple of wood ones and that's really about it maybe a fire um, until you've learned them and what you do is you learn them by going into creative mode um, and putting things in here and then you have options of things that you can do with them and you so these are called crafting nodes you put your mouse over the crafting node and you can rotate around see that one is none that one is hammer chisel drill and cut and each require a special tool uh, once you've got the right tools uh, so you, um, up here it shows you in the preview what you can make in this case it's a stick we don't want to make a stick so what we want is a stone slate so we can make an axe head or a hoe head or a knife in order to do this I need not uh, in order to make this as you can see if I put two things in there it gets confused because I can't make anything with that so it wants me to nap uh, no the technique is not nap chisel it is in fact 
که مرد grind sorry I'm not looking at it correctly so <coughs> grind uh, and that will make me an axe head uh, which is a handy thing to start with so we'll do that so we click now that we've selected it it will do it so we click go um, and it is grinding it and now we have an axe head now if we move that out of the way I think if we put this in here we can make stone hammer and I think that's it all we can make with that so we don't want to do that so hit T to get back out of crafting mode um, you can also okay so you go into your <clears throat> next step is to go into your character menu these are the different options uh, about your body these are the general ones and your digestive system ones in here and you will get um, mouth problems and stomach problems and so on and be more of them as they go um, these are where you can equip things currently you can put on a hat a, ba a, a backpack um, and a belt which we will get to in a minute um, and also tells us that this is a stone slate um, and it's limestone and it's not very tough because it's only 20 it's not very hard because it's only 30 but it is a good quality one um, but we don't really want it at this stage so we'll drop it so drop it is Q and we'll pick up the stone next head when we, and when we look at that we will see that that is a quality 70 toughness 25 hardness 45 because it's made of basalt and we will move that into our little t-shirt pocket because we're going to need to keep our hands full so uh, not our hands full our hands empty um, okay, let's see if we've got anything good here. A stone bar, we'll pick up a stone and we look at granite. You'd think granite would be better, but it's not as tough, so we don't want that. What we want is this basalt one, which is 25, and we will keep that. And the sneezing was my phone, not me. I am ill, but I am not. Um, right, so I'll take that stone slate as well. Oh, no, that's not a very good one. Small stone. Oh, bad quality. Okay, now we need to find <coughs> a basalt stone to use as a workbench, but I want to come over here. Oh, there's one right there, I think. But what we need to do is come over here and have a look at this water uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is make a fire so we're going to need an axe uh, to chop up some wood <coughs> and various other things I think this water will be fresh water yeah, uh, we'll... yes fresh water because we can drink it salty water we can't drink so that's handy and there's also some shrooms uh, to eat, you uh, left click for your right hand, uh, right click for your right hand, left, hang on, what's going on there, why can't I eat it, oh, I might have to cook it, maybe it's a brown mushroom I can eat, yes, left click for right hand, and I swap hands, and it'll be right click for left hand, seems a bit weird but anyway we have this I think is a basalt rock yes and as you can see it says it can be turned into small stones or a workbench now this is probably going to be a decent place to build there's plenty of stones around um, but we might build it a bit closer to the edge so we don't have to carry stuff quite so far is this one over here? We might build it closer to these trees. Yes, we'll carry this just a bit closer. Oh, actually, I think that might be one. If that's one, yes. Okay. So now we can hit T while we're looking at it. As you can see, it's highlighted, and that creates a smaller work station. And then we can go in here, and we want to actually create a stone. 
blade. No, we can't. We can make a chisel because we have the appropriate tools, and it tells you what you need here. You need a, in this case, my axe head will do, to uh, do the chiseling. So I already had a stone bar on me. That's what I picked up. So now I have a chisel and an axe head. Stick the old chisel in there. I will use that for chiseling coconuts, which will be in those trees, as you can see, but they'll also be lying around. Um, this a, yeah, I need to chop this. Using the axe. So left click to attack. And as you can see, there's a circle there that tells you Okay, now rough fiber was to rough fiber, I'll drop that there. Q to drop, Q to drop what's there in your left hand first. Oh look, lots of fiber. Uh, middle mouse click to automatically put things in your uh, inventory if there's space. So Q to drop that left hand and then if you hit Q again it'll drop the right hand. But you can't do the right hand first. Whatever, if whatever's in your right hand when you, if there's nothing in your left hand. Okay, so <clears throat> now we're going to make a belt and some rope for, um, oops, for making tools and a belt so we can carry axes. So we're in creative mode. We'll drop this down here. We'll move those out so that they don't. It doesn't go. What do you want? Four of those for. Now we've got a rough fiber. Uh, why is it not giving? Oh. Here we go. You can't have anything in the crafting area. Although those are in it, they're not affecting it. Um, so I want to make a rope, and I'm probably going to need to plait it. No, I'm going to need to tie it to make a rope. And then I want to make a belt. So it tells you the preview of a belt there. So I've got to knot it at either end to make a belt. So it's quite simple. So it's just a mouse, you put your mouse over and then use a scroll wheel to change what you're doing. We'll just drop that out for a minute and put in one of those and make a rope. Well, once you've learned the recipe, you can come out of recipe mode, go into tools. Uh, well, see, now I've, I've learned the recipe, in theory, I can make a belt, but I can't make a belt for some reason that wants aerial roots, which are off a tree, but I don't have them. But anyway, um, so you just manually make it, it's easier. <coughs> um, I want to fabricate fiber rope. So now I le learned the recipe. So in normal mode, or in normal mode, once you've learned the recipe, it's in here. But I'm in easy mode, so it's in here anyway. So I could have just come straight here and done it. And with uh, some of the other things, I'll probably do that. So I'm going to make two ropes. Uh, I'm actually going to make three ropes because I'll probably chew through them. And then I'm going to chop some sticks. Right. There's some ropes. From the belt, I'll pick that up. And then I put this belt on by just putting it where my belt is. Now I have two places I can hang things. So I will hang a rope on one of them. And then I'll get a stick. Because um, I need to make what's called a silt. So I'll go into creative mode. Uh, move those out of there. I'm going to need these to make here. Right. Cut. 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 Oh. Awesome, because I don't have a knife. Can I make... I can make the knife with that. So I want to make the knife. Uh, okay. So in order to make the knife, I need to pick this up, and this up, go back to this workbench, because it said 
if you look at this here it tells you how hard the ground needs to be how flat and some required water and how much area in order to make the thing I wanted to make I needed this area so I needed hard, more hard more flat and one square which tells you that it's the um, thing that I need uh, now I'm just going to use the, the menu to do it oh go away stop telling me make the stone blade so normally you would just put the stone blade on choose the craft what they call the crafting node which is those black spots and away you go so I'll just drop that pick this up and as you can see I'm getting hot but anyway I'm going to just attack this because it's, it's actually easier than doing the crafting. I think you might get more resources if you do the crafting. I'll pick that up. Come back here. Look at this. Now, <clears throat> creative mode. Oh. I have to drop everything first. Again, it's annoying that you have to do that. Creative mode. Pick up the stick, put it on top. Now I want to make this one, which is a celt or a kelt. And effectively, you can just keep scrolling around until it tells you you can do it. In this case, we want to chisel a hole, uh, cut a hole, chisel a hole. So we get our chisel, chisels a hole. Now we have a self handle, a kill handle. Now we get out of here again. Drop that because we don't want it. Uh, I'm going to put this back in here. And I'm going to drop that. And now when I look at the. Now, as you can see, I can't select. I can. It's a bit finicky about what you select. You can't craft on there. If I keep going, if I hit T, it gives me the big crafting area, and that won't work for what I'm trying to do. So I'm actually going to have to pick that up, and drop it, pick that up, and drop it. And now I can see the workbench. I think that's a bit of a bug, but anyway. Creative mode. So I'm doing these in creative mode so you can get an idea of how to craft. Now, um, I, when I'm doing these, I actually like to pick them up and then use your middle mouse button to raise it. Um, it helps to be able to figure out where things are. Um, now, in the menu here on the left, this is the nearby items that you can use to build with. I want to use the stone axe head, so I'm going to select it and put it on here. Now it's going to show me where I need to put the axe head and as you can see I now have a bunch of options I can do with it pitch, yaw and roll and I think once you get it around about right like so put it in there and now it wants me to hammer it I think chisel yeah it wants me to hammer it in so you've placed it in the old days you had to jiggery pokery around and, and try different all sorts of different angles and stuff to get it in but they've made it a bit more um, easier there was no guide as to show you where you put things in so this is a little bit better especially for new people And now we have an axe, and we don't want that stone, we want our axe, and we want to put our knife up here, and then put this. Now, we're going to need to make a fire, so first of all we need some wood, we're going to make it over here where we're going to be working, um, so what we're actually going to do is go and chop down a ficus. The reason for chopping down a ficus is that the wood is much tougher yeah. 
and that's we might actually take a chance to eat something while we're here pick those up pick those up left click right click left click right back to chopping no chopping I said Uh, you can see that um, your green bar down the bottom is stamina. Um, if you run out of stamina, things happen very slowly. So we've got a little supply of food there, which is good. I'm going to keep chopping this till we get some wood. Uh, I want that log. I also want that branch because we use the branch to make a ficus branches are better quality as I said. Uh, oop, drop my axe. Alright. Now drop this trunk and get another log. Um, the process for making a fire is quite annoying. Uh, now, what's that? Ah, oh, firewood. Good, okay, I'm just gonna run back over to our log over here and drop this firewood. I know our log, but just to here. The other reason for doing this in the summertime is that it doesn't rain and it's easy to make the fire. Um, so we don't have to spend like an hour and a half making a fire. Now, when you put, you can see when I put my mouse over, that one is to interact is to split the pile. Uh, to embed, you use Q and it makes the pile. So there's actually three logs in that pile now, even though it doesn't show up. You pick up the sticks, these sticks, you can do the same thing, but if you just keep, so you can Q or you can pick the pile of sticks up and keep adding to them, but not everything you can do that with though have added to the pile so I'll go and stick that over I'm going to need to make some thin sticks out of these sticks to make a drill stick and I'm going to need to chop one of these logs into firewood but I'm also going to need to get some uh, stones so I'm going to do all that now because there's nothing worse than running around at night time trying to find them so I need small stones, I need 10 stones that's a slate, that's a slate uh, the old option is, is to get a, make a hammer and just break up one of those stones because that's the easiest way to get some but small stone, small stone, stone slate, small stone so there we go, there's three. We're nearly a third of the way there already. There's another one. So we're going to make it just here, I think. One, two, three. Uh, no, keep that stone slate because we'll need it for something else. Four. If you empty every all your pockets, you can carry five, so you can do it in two trips. But we've got seven, so we just need to do one more trip. As you can see, it's starting to get dark, so we want to get the fire going. Uh, oh, the only other thing we're going to need is a coconut or some tinder. As long as the stuff is around where we are. I also use, tend to use basalt for the stones because they last longer and you don't really want to have to make another fire. 
I will use limestone though, in this case. I think that should be enough teen stones, I think is what we need for a fire. Now if you haven't done easy mode, if you haven't played the game before, I recommend easy mode. Because you can go in here, oh sorry, go into your creative mode, uh, your recipe mode, go to construction, campfire, and it tells you what you need. A wood pile and... 10 stones 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 I'm missing one Be red You have to drop them all How bad is that? I can't count Alright Small stone Thank you There are other kinds of stones too There's hard stones uh, Hard stones, hard chisels And Um I'll drop and um, hard stone bars and they make better quality weapons sharper so as you can see I'm going to chop this make some firewood now we've got some tree bark So we're going to make a fire, we're going to make it right here. So what we do is we go Q to embed that piece of firewood and it's gone green. So when we place it, press E to place it, now we have a small fire. You can just light a fire with that, but um, if you don't use the stones, it, yeah, it, um, it doesn't last very long, or it doesn't last as long, and you really want you to keep your fire going because it's what keeps you alive. Okay, so now we've made the stick here. Go into creative mode, put the stick down. Uh, thin sticks is what we want, so we want to cut, 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 and now we're going to cut them. Now we've got two thin sticks. We'll add some more fuel to the fire shortly. So I'll take that out, put that there. And we'll get another one of these, drop it in. Get rid of that out of the way. Uh, get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Get those out of the way. mode um, make a drill board is what I want woodcraft drill board oh, I need a wood stub oh, that's right that'd be why then so you can uh, left mouse click to attack with your right hand right mouse click to attack with your other hand okay uh, and now we've got those so we should be able to just Go back into creative mode. So we need a wood stub to make a drill board, not a bit of firewood. Now we have our thing and we want to chisel, I think. Chisel, chisel two. Or cut one. Drill. Aha, two drills. As you can see, it's getting dark very quickly. And once it starts to get dark, it'll go black and you cannot see. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we, we're going to do this the cheats way. We're going to look at this fire. Hit T. So if we go creative mode, um, I can stack these around. Like so, uh, in a circle reminiscent of what it would probably supposed to look like. Have I got 10? Oh, 
Ah, unique. Let's go on deck. T. T. There we go, craft mode. Now in construction, it should only show me the campfire. As you can see, <coughs> that's what I need to do. So what I'm going to do is just get these. I'm going to put 10 of these around. This is how you do it in um, normal mode, where you can select these stones from here. And put them in. It's not really too fussy at this point about how you do it and how you can craft it. Now I have a fire. Now I need to get this there. I need to get my drill board in one hand and my thin stick in the other. This is where things, actually I'll put that in there, I'm going to pick up one of these logs. You used to have to put the bits of wood in individually, but now you can chuck a whole log in there, which is really cool. So pick that up, and now I need to look at the fire and interact, and this is where things get tricky. So E to interact. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to go and get a coconut. Which is why we stopped by the coconut tree. Luckily, it hasn't got too dark. So I'm, uh, I can hit the coconuts up there. Yep, I'll hit it a couple of times. source of food anyway. Drop one, put one here. So Q you can just place them wherever you want with Q and attack it with an axe. Now I've got a coconut but more importantly I've got these tinders which I can then place conveniently around right where I am going to cook. I've got my drill board and my stick wherever oh, there it is. Alright. Interact again. E. Alright, now we have a menu. Now, to make your stick go backwards and forwards, you wiggle your middle mouse button frantically and then you press S and as you can see on the uh, yes, you can see that the pressure button goes up and I tend to just keep it on the whole time, a lot of people don't. Um, now you can see that the red bar, if you don't have enough stamina you can't do this either by the way, uh, the red bar is going up 
once it gets to us. Now I've got a, it's just, it's got to high enough so that I can blow. So now I'm left clicking with my mouse button on the right hand side. It, cause it, he, as soon as he starts looking like he's going to blow, you drop your stick. Um, so I'm blowing, I'm tapping my left mouse button frantically. And you can see that the blow level is going up. He's blowing up and once they cross, once it gets hot enough and they cross, symbolized by that orange line with the flame, um, once they catch up with each other, it will catch on fire. And there you have, there you will have a fire. And fire keeps you warm at night time, gives you light, and cooks your food. Come on, go. Here we go. Fire. And now we'll chuck this other log on here. Have to be a little bit careful about fires because they uh, they're hot, you know. Like they taught you at school. It's true. You're too close to it, you start getting dehydrated. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink this the milk out of this coconut. First of all, we're going to drill it, put a hole in it, and then we're going to drink it. Poke it up so I get the axe and give it a whack. Now we've got two coconut, what they call coconut meats. You can see, left click to eat one. I think you get two mouthfuls. Yep. Right click to eat the other one. And then what I do is I go and set them somewhere nice and safe and where I will remember, like so. Q to place then E and if it rains they will start collecting water wish this quest thing would go away I've done that quest don't need your help right um, now as you can see we're about halfway down our stamina we've got plenty of wood on the fire had something to eat, we've had something to drink, so we're just gonna first of all hit Z to do a crap or a leak, leak take a leak. Yeah. Then we're gonna take another leak, I don't know why. I hit X to sit down, and then we're going to hold X to go to sleep and regain some of our stamina a little bit at a time and uh, basically we just have to keep doing this and as you can you, know, you can't really see but there's that the bar at the bottom now the next thing I usually do is build a couple of um, platforms to sleep on um, and fill them with dirt but it's nice and easy um, and it looks alright and you can always upgrade it later but you can make them out of logs or the logs and dirt uh, logs require rope dirt requires nothing but dirt and a, a, a stone base requires dirt and stones um, and the stones themselves are quite a mission to you got to pick up those big rocks and carry them so as you can see we're sleeping and regaining our stamina and the night is moving onwards um, but you can build a thing called a fiber mattress and when you up on the fiber mattress you can choose to sleep for longer 
so you can actually sleep the whole night through um, and regain all your stamina in one go so we've been playing for 40 minutes we've got an we've got an axe okay I can't sleep anymore we've got an axe we've got a fire we've got some rope uh, we've had something to eat now we need to what we can do is I'll show you what you need to build or how to build a base floor and fill it so hit T to create we'll do it in recipe mode because it's just easier we want buildings uh, we want to create a base mark and for a base mark we need a fibre rope and four sticks so I don't know if we're going to have enough sticks from here Uh, we will if we use these as well we'll just use um, the creative mode to do this because it's going to be quicker but you just chop these up so you've got sticks so we hit T woodcraft stick and it tells us we have got four small branches so we can make four sticks which is what we need so we just craft each one as we go and as I say, in uh, oh sorry, we're in recipe mode. In hard mode, you only get creative. You don't get a recipe mode. In normal, you get creative mode and recipe mode. But recipe only has a couple of recipes that you start with, uh, and you have to learn the rest by experimenting with the different nodes on the different materials and stuff like that. So if you already know what to do, like if you know how to make a drill board, then you can just make a drill board. In creative mode and then it goes into your recipe and then the next time you want to make one you don't have to uh, worry about it okay we're cooking a little bit as you can see we're a bit too close to the fire getting too hot um, and that will start taking away our health but that's right we'll move away in a sec once we finish this there we go move away into the darkness where it's nice and So now we're going to make a base mark. Oops. And we have the four sticks required and the fiber rope because we made them earlier. And so we're just going to craft it. After this, we're going to need to make a hoe, a hoe head. Right. Now we have, that will drop this, oh actually, we can make, while we're here we can make a support, oh no we need long sticks I think, the support mark, yes long sticks, so this is, you use this to create the, um, the walls and this to place the surfaces. Oh, we can actually do this while we're here. We'll do it in creative mode so you can see. So we'll grab this stub and this stub. And it wants that to go over the top of there. Oh, that's, that's new. It snaps to the right position. Okay. You used to have to use these things to rotate them around. Maybe you have to in hard mode. Not in this mode. So scroll around. We just need to tie it. It only gives you the option of what you need to do to do it. And now we have a surface mark, which means when we make a wall, we can use that to determine where the surface is going to be. And then when we start filling it, it gives us the option of... Um, it gives us the option of um, what we want it to be, like a door or a window or just a wall. Oh, sunrise. Sun's coming up, which is good. I think we'll grab this coconut and uh, actually I tend to do it away from the base a little bit because otherwise you get blooming tinder everywhere. And we're gonna create a mode, we're gonna drill it. Doop doop. So 
once you've done it and you're just going to recipe mode, you can just line up a whole bunch of coconuts and go for it. It's nice and easy. Just line up three or four of them, drill them, and you don't have to remember what you're doing each time. The recipe will just do it for you. Alright, now we're going to chop it and eat it. The downside to starting in summer is... The upside is, is it's easier to make a fire, and it's easier to survive the first night. If it's raining and cold, you can die in the first night. Um, the downside... I'm actually going to take a screenshot of that. Um, the downside is that um, it doesn't rain, so it's hard to get water, which is why I chose this particular seed because um, it means I'm close to this water where I can get a drink. Right, so we'll go back over here and get some more firewood from this tree we chopped down. It's a good idea to not have to be... It's, it's a good idea to be proactive rather than retroactive. Also, things deteriorate, so you can see in here how much... Um, you've got left to go of your uh, of your axe once it gets down once one part of it gets down to almost gone the whole thing just falls apart I really want a, a medium size branch if I can find one to make a handle Oh yeah, there's a mid, is there another mid, yeah, another mid, mid, another mid, another mid, oh yeah, oh no, too many mids, okay, we didn't get any more firewood though, oh, we'll just use this coconut tree, the other good thing about using a ficus is that um, the wood burns for longer because it's a very hard wood, Uh, we'll go up here by our working area. Uh, we will we'll not jump. We will chop this some of this trunk. So the kinds of food you can get are uh, there's various swamp kinds of food. Um, there is also coconuts, bananas. You can uh, kill the crabs with a spear. You can sh spare fish um, but it is kind of tricky and also the bigger the load you carry um, yeah the slower you go so we'll bring this down over here and now we can start to see the area that we're in a bit better so the swamp over there has piles of dirt and various other things but um, clay for making clay pots which we will need just chop this up so we've got some logs. Ironically, they don't catch on fire when you drop them on the fire, unlike real life. If you want to be really picky, you can put them in, uh, you can rotate them around using your mouse, um, line them up all nicely. So, and I don't think we can, can we put one of these in? No, I think we have to chop it. We need to chop it into a slightly smaller log. Here we go. A chop off trunk. That can go in, and that one won't. No, that's good. So we're all full up. Okay. Now we need to make a hoe head. So we really want another decent. I think we need to make a hoe head. We need a slate. So we'll just go and find a slate. Help! I need somebody.
right, sorry about that. Uh, and I probably won't edit that out. Anyway, so I've moved this so that I can, I need to build, do the hoe head. Um, so we're going to get the stone hoe head put on there. For some reason it didn't like doing it, because I think because that tree was in the way that I chopped down. So we'll make a hoe head. And we'll get our long stick over there. Once we've made this, actually, we can just go to tools. Uh, now we need to use flat ground, like so. And then go stone hoe here. And then thin stick. Where's my long stick? Long stick. Recipe mode. Everything moves when you do that. It's very annoying. Um, <clears throat> it kicks everything out of your crafting area, including your workbench, if you happen to be too close to it. So just remember that. So we've got to tie the hoe onto the end here. Right. And drop out a bit of rope. Pick up our chisel just in case we need it. Get the hoe. Ho ho ho. Right. Now hoeing is good. We come over here and go. And we get dirt. We got one dirt, that's very handy. We need at least five. puts the hoe on our back because it's on a long stick. So now we pick this up and we go to wherever we want to build our base. Um, and we go Q and then we have the ability to put a foundation wherever we want. Uh, we've got a big area here. I tend to um, I tend to start from beside my fire. You can change the shapes too, so you can have squares, triangles, a ramp, a triangle ramp, up ramp, down ramp, and this is like a jetty that goes out into the water, and you put uh, walls on it, and you can, you can build it out in the water, but anyway. Uh, so we're just going to build this, and we're going to start it about there. E to confirm, and we're going to pick this stuff up. Drop it out there, just so we don't. Also, highly recommend uh, keeping your stuff together because it's easy to lose it and get it buried in your base. Now, I actually usually build a wall up against the fire so that I can. Use this bit, but it's also handy because you can put food on the on the the base of it and um, go from there. But we'll just chuck some of this dirt in, so I, you can see how to do that. You pick up the dirt. And it's got wood, earth, and stone is what you can fill it with. So we're going to do earth and just Q, drop it in. Um, if I say if you used. Um, if you used wood, it would ask for rope. Um, if you used stone, it would ask for a pile of dirt. Oh, I'm going to need extra, extra dirt. What it does is it puts in a compacted dirt. 76. Okay. You can automatically put things on your back, but you can't take them off automatically, which is annoying. Sometimes you get a, bit of, a small bit of clay. Making clay stuff used to be easy, but now it's not so easy. It takes quite a bit of work to build. You have to make a, a circular base and then 
sides and so on for your pottery and then you've got to potter it together and you make got to make a shape out of it but anyway um, so now we've filled it to 100% we can now hit E to build it and then we have a base platform and I'll leave this here we can go and get some more long sticks actually before we get too tired we'll just go for a bit of a run over here so we can see the swamp biome um, as you saw right at the beginning some of these um, some of these logs have food in them you don't want to eat too many of them though because they will upset your stomach it's a crab and you can drink this water what I in that case what you can do is you can make a, a pottery like a like a big pottery and you can come down here and uh, fill it up from here so you don't have to wait for the rain um, you, you can make coconut canteens so you can carry them with you mushrooms dude mushrooms so we've got a different kind of biome here there should be sugar cane um, and various other kinds of things that give you rope and stuff but what we're looking for probably is a hard stone yes yeah, sometimes you just have to keep an eye out for it there's no predators as yet predators are due to come uh, and these crabs will most probably go looking for coconuts uh, in the next update and start eating them so you might want to put them in something so the crabs don't eat them that's what i'm thinking is probably going to happen there he is he's a crab um, so you can throw a spear and hit them and then, oh here we go oh that's a stone bar um, you can throw a spear and hit them and then pick them up, take them back put them on the edge of the fire, they roast and there you go so there's a ficus small stones everywhere As you can see, this is the swamp biome, and these, I don't think you can chop, is that a sugar cane? Oh yes, a sugar cane. Uh, I don't think we can use the cane leaves yet. so we can get to these all right cane piece yeah, we can eat that I'll take that back with me it's got sugar and water in it I believe the cane um, these are red mangroves these are also very hard like a ficus they're very good and when you chop them down you get fiber these uh, these things here are called aerial roots and they you can use them for making anything you need rope for really um, there's a pile of clay there's a pile of clay there oh first leg uh, so there's a pile of clay uh, soft soil so you get dirt and clay out of it so we all, what we do is we build a pallet which is this thing here a vehicle um, and you can drag that and put stuff on and make a bigger one you can drag that behind you with a rope um, that's very handy haven't found any hard stone out here haven't even seen any fish Which might be on the other side of the island. 
As you can see, it's also very easy to get lost. So we don't really know where our base is right now. Which is why we light a fire. So if the worst comes to the worst, we can wait for night time and see the fire. I think it's over here. Yes, so that's it. That is how you get started in Serb Island, the survival island of doom. Can you see my fire? I think that's my fire in that little. Yes. Oh, here's a. bunch of useful fiber. I've got no way of carrying it though at the moment. So that's why you come you make a you spend your resources to make a pallet. Um, you make some you make a pallet, you get some coconut canteens. Oh there you go, you can see the fire now. You make some coconut canteens for water, put them on the pallet uh, and some food, you come back here, you click some of this stuff you're going to get some clay, you need a lot of clay um, you also need a lot of water so you can make the clay down by the beaches, the, down by the water is the best option because you've got water ready to go and and then um, you're away, you can make some pottery, fill it up with water uh, what we will do though, I don't think we're pretty tired as you can see, starting to eat into our health. I need another long stick and we'll just make a spear. Actually, we'll. No, we won't make a spear just yet. What we'll do is drop that there and we'll just quickly go for a look on the other side of the island before it gets dark. As we're looking for, we need a, a hard stone to make a sharp axe and a sharp stone bar to make a sharp knife, which we then put on the edge of our spear, which makes the spear better. Oh, there we go, that's what we needed hard stone bar, hard stone. And if you look at these, hardness, very hard. So that's flint or obsidian. That one's a good one, that one's not quite so good. Let's see if we can see a fish. That looks like one. Lots of crabs over here. There's a fish. There's a couple of fish. Uh, they're quite hard to shoot. Uh, hit with a spear because they disappear in the water. So, so while we're here, we'll rinse our mouth, stop ourselves from getting bacterial infection in the mouth. They're quite hard to hit because you get the same optical illusion of where they are as you do um, when you're in real life shooting through water. So the secret is you've got to find a, yourself a spot, let them come towards you and spear them when they're coming towards you that's usually the best option or wait to see if you can find one stuck on something it's also a good idea to build a building that's two stories high and put a fire, you put your fire on the top floor um, and that is because oh there's a hard stone, no it's a stone bar um, that is because um, you can see it from further away, basically, because as you can see, that was quite hard to find where the base was. You can build a sundial, because the sky is, um, correct, as it should be, 
um, so you can actually build a sundial. People built them. These instructions on the web on how to do that. Um, but I tend to just lift my fire up, and then you take off in the morning and come back at night. Um, the other thing you can do is around midday it's kind of tricky, but at night time um, the sun goes. Uh, well, that's the east over there because that's where the sun came up, and that's the west. So we know that that's north and that's south, um, so we can get some idea of where we are. Chuck another log on the fire. Oh, still hasn't burned down enough. Um, you yeah, should need to sleep, that's the problem. Um, let's make a spear. Before it gets stuck, need a long stick. Oh, now we're completely exhausted. Do we need? I think we need. Oh, just a spear, spear. Though it's a woodcraft. with us. Oh, it's getting dark. So the sun should be going down over there behind those clouds. The other good thing about having a platform like this is you get a hard base that you can craft on. These look quite good if you ask me, but anyway. Right. A spear. If you, put, you can put that on your back. But it looks quite good. Oh, there's a crab. You got R into throwing mode. Let's see if we can get him. No. Before it gets dark, we'll cook ourselves some crab. Which we can. Put that on our backpack. Now, to cook this, you Q. And put it by the fire. And as you can see, it is roasting, and it's getting darker and darker. Now, the various effects on you do affect your um, hypothermia. Too hot. Um, do affect your weight, your muscle mass, and various other things about you. Uh, my intestines are full. I don't have any absorption ability uh, issues, etc. etc. Let's see how our crab's going. Just wait, wait for him to cook. I think it's probably cooked enough now. Now if we come back up here and have a look, we've got a crab. And we eat that crab. We'll get our digestive system. So we put something in our stomach. And eat it. Up. And now we need to go to sleep. Here in the day one. Now I might do a day two at some point.